Well, Ondo State is still in mourning, and the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Ondo, Charles Sitiloye, joins me on the news to share his fondest memories of the late governor. Thank you very much for joining us on TVC News at uh, 1. And our condolences on the passing of your former governor, the late Mr. Rotimi Akiridolo. Tell us, what was the experience serving as Attorney General in his government? As you know, my former boss uh, is a senior advocate of Nigeria, a learning sick. Uh, he's a man who has a good grasp of the law. And most of the time, he always insists that due process must be followed. There must be adherence to rule of law in the state. And he runs the government with integrity, always holding firm to what is right. He will not allow anybody to delay on the path of law. And mostly, if you see all the reforms that were carried out in, his, in you know, those states throughout his tenure, there are reforms that are far-reaching, like the upgrading of all bars in you know, those states. These are reforms that previous administration saw they were afraid to do, but courageously stood and ensured that all bars who are due for promotion in those states were duly promoted. Uh, they are brought on board and given staff of office. Apart from that, the recent creation of a uh, 33 SCDA in Ondo State is another watershed landmark achievement of uh, uh, the, the former governor of Ondo State. He did his best. He set up a committee to go around the entire state, look at those areas where there are serious problems in terms of uh, local government administration. Local government administration is a situation where administration have to reach to the grassroots. But what do we have? We just have 18 local governments in those states, and most of the headquarters have been urbanized, and we don't have a presence in the local area. And so, when the committee brought in their report, it worked on it, and then we have the white paper. And that is how we have the 33 SCDA now in those states. And it's unprecedented uh, since the uh, advent of democracy. No government in all those states have been able to put up the SCDA structure, which uh, governor, uh, former governor Luaro Timake Dula have been able to do. And apart from this, you need to see its articulation when it comes to protection of interest of not uh, the southern part of Nigeria or southwest, uh, especially the creation of Amoteko, when there are serious insecurity in the entire nation. And you know, we share the boundary with another part of the country, and there is influx of men and uh, different people to that side, to southwest. With this setting up of Amoteko, we were able to curtail the movement of people who wish to attack the ordinary citizens down in southwest. And we, we were able to pass a law. The first Amoteko law came from all those states here. And we have even amended the Amoteku law in Ondo State here to strengthen it to ensure that it is properly equipped and also have power to prosecute cases like the Nigerian police force. So he introduced reform in all strata in Ondo State, is it from the security architecture of the state to legal uh, aspect of the state. In Ondo State now, we have a uh, department of legal services in all the ministries, and we checkmate cases. Uh, from coming up as soon as possible. When we receive letter of uh, notice of detention to go to court, our Department of Legal Services are very active. They quickly swing into action. Those ones we can resolve, we resolve. As a lawyer, when the idea of ADR was brought in, you know, those states, uh, if people look at it as novel, that the normal thing you have in the Ministry of Justice is uh, litigation, defending government regularly. But he believed we can settle cases in all those states here without due recourse to litigation. And so we have the Department of ADR in all those states. All yes. right. We'll, we'll, we'll opportunity. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Titiloye. There will still be time to talk some more oh. about the man, Aketi, and the legacy he's left behind. But first, we need to take a break. And we'll be back with you shortly. Right. Two days after the death of Uluwaru Timiakiru Jolo, former governor of Ondo State. And I've been speaking with Charles Titiloye, who is the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Ondo. Thank you so much for staying with us, uh, Mr. 
Titsuloi. You know, many have said that the shoe of the late Rutina Teredolu is heavy to feel. I mean, how do you react to that? He, he is a wonderful leader. Uh, apart from the fact that he, he, he took step in respect of what relates, related to his profession, the legal profession in, in reforming the government. He acted as if he was an engineer in terms of the construction that went on in all those states. Roads that were not there before, he was able to construct it. There's a particular road that led to a career cocoa, and there was meat around it that uh, people regularly died there. Uh, they call it Okeala Bojuto. He brought it down and dualized it. And if you want to go to a career cocoa today, you find that road very good to go, and there is no accident on that road again. So many rehabilitation. Those areas where you think ordinarily government will say, ah, they don't want to go into. He went there. And people wonder that uh, professionally is a lawyer. Why is he bringing up all this project as he has training in engineering? That is the ability of the person we have as governor of those state in the past six years. He was able to break new ground in the state, able to look forward. And the industrial hub that is in order today is, is making uh, it out to all the industry in those states have become moribund. But when he started the industrial hub in Ore, bringing in the Chinese, other people, and the company, and the industry started, it is a new lease of life in Ondo State. And when he keep on pushing on the deep sea uh, port for Ondo State, uh, it's an attempt to attract attention down to this part of uh, southwest Nigeria and ensure that uh, more commercial activity comes this way and life uh, uh, is revitalized in this state. And these are very great innovation that can enhance not only the economy of Southwest as a whole, but the entire nation. Indeed, so Mr. push ahead. It's good to know that, uh, if you can hear me, and it's good to know that the late Roti Makaridolo has also said in this office, which you currently occupy, you know, between 1997 and 1999, indeed, our hearts reach out to you and all the people of Ondo State and the passing of your former governor. And, uh, you know, it's expectation that the days ahead are filled with pleasantness, even as you've welcomed a new governor. Charles Tuloi is Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice in Ondo State. Thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 1. It's a great pleasure coming on the air. Thank you.